Hey, hey, mama. I know a lot of you are itching to get back into exercising after having a C-section, but maybe you're wondering, when is it safe? I'm scared. When is it safe to start working out again? You've been waiting weeks, possibly even months, to feel like yourself again. You just can't wait to feel back to normal, to regain your strength back and maybe get closer to your pre-pregnancy body again. But it can be super confusing, really scary, even intimidating, And I know, I know this is not something that you want to just jump right into. There are so many mixed messages out there and you don't know what to do. You don't know how to begin and you don't want to take a risk of hurting yourself and hurting your body after all that you've been through with your C-section. So I want to help you today. If this is what you're feeling like, you're feeling just frustrated, you're feeling like you're in pain, you just don't know what to do, you're in the right place because I'm here to help you. I am a physical therapist and I know exactly what to do at the right time, the right place, and let's get you doing things the right way, okay? So if you're ready to start strengthening your body after having a C-section, to start feeling strong again, to start feeling more confident in your body and just feel normal again, stick around because I'm going to help you in today's episode. I'm going to teach you when is the safe time to begin working out after you have a C-section. Are you ready? Let's go. Are you finding it hard to keep up with the demands of motherhood because your energy is always low? Is your weak core holding you back from feeling strong and confident in your postpartum journey? Do you avoid looking in the mirror because you're not happy with what you see? Hey mama, welcome to the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast, where you'll learn how to reclaim your energy, strengthen your body after pregnancy, and finally say goodbye to the postpartum pooch in less time. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenna, but you can call me Jenna, and I'm a physical therapist, wife, and mom of four girls who has cracked the code on how to strengthen your core postpartum in the easiest and safest way possible. I too struggled with my postpartum fitness journey as a new mom, but now I'm stronger than ever and I'm here to help you do the same without the stress, exhaustion, or struggle. If you're ready to fit fitness into your busy schedule while you navigate your postpartum journey and stay motivated along the way, then you're in the right place. It's all about progress, not perfection, and I'm here to help walk you through that journey to feeling strong, confident and energized that energy comes from within not your coffee let's roll out that yoga mat girl it's time to do this I've got something big coming up very, very soon. Deal week is just one week away. If you're ready to reclaim your core strength, lose that leftover baby weight that you have and feel like yourself again, now's the time to tune in, okay? Every day of deal week, I'll be dropping exclusive offers that you won't find any other time of the year. Whether you've been waiting to start your postpartum fitness journey, you need help closing the diastasis recti gap, or just want a foolproof plan to get your energy back and fix your C-section pooch, all the things that we are dealing with as postpartum moms, well, there's a deal with your name on it during deal week. And here's a little hint for you. Day one is going to be huge for moms who want to jumpstart their fitness in a way that actually fits with real mom life. So mark your calendar, set a reminder, and keep an eye open for your inbox because deal week starts in just one week. So November 25th through 29th, we are going to be throwing out all the deals that you don't want to miss. So trust me, you want to be there. You want to come into the podcast, get all the details, check your inbox, and we're going to be having a lot of fun next week during deal week. So I will catch you at the kickoff of deal week on November 25th. It's a Monday. I want to see you there and it's only one day of deals. So you want to tune in to every single day of deal week because there are new deals coming your way and then they're gone within 24 hours. So it's a fun time to jumpstart your fitness game as a postpartum mom before the new year because let me just tell you, we got to start now. We got to start now. So if you are ready to kick things up a notch and just get this consistent fitness habit going right now, join me during deal week. It's going to be great.
All right, well, let's get started with the C-section topic that we're talking about. Now, I did not have a C-section, but I'm a physical therapist and I've worked with women who have had C-sections and I have a lot of clients that are dealing with the recovery process of C-sections. So let's just start with the big question. When can you start working out? That is the question I get over and over again with C-section moms. When am I allowed to start working out? Is it safe? What am I supposed to do? That whole starting aspect of getting back into fitness after having C-section is scary. It's so intimidating for a mom who's had a C-section and it could be really scary for you as well. So you might have heard the six-week guideline. Yes, six weeks is often recommended before starting to work out, but it's not a one-size-fits-all rule. Every C-section recovery is different. You know that. You probably have a friend or a sister who's had a C-section that maybe uh, recovered a lot faster than you, or maybe it was a lot more severe than your C-section. So everybody's different. Some moms might need a bit more time, while other moms feel ready to start right away with their workouts. So everybody's different. But the most important step is to get a doctor's clearance at your six-week checkup. So when you go and see your doctor, you have to ask your doctor, am I allowed to start working out? Do you see any problems with my incision? Do you feel like I'm going to make things worse if I start working out? Just ask as many questions as you can think of to get clearance and guidance from your doctor because I'm not seeing your body. I cannot see your C-section incision. I don't know what you went through. And so I can't say yes you should start working out right now just because you're six weeks postpartum. No, I'm, I'm putting that disclaimer out there that you have to get your doctor's approval. And I want your doctor to look for signs and symptoms of uh, healing. You know, if you're healing pr- appropriately, if you're healing well, um, if everything looks good, then take your doctor's recommendation that it's okay to start working out. But I don't want you going crazy with your first workout, okay? So I explain this in my program, Postpartum Ab Rehab, for C-section moms and for all moms, how to get started the right way without just making your body severely in pain with your first postpartum workout and then never wanting to work out again after that. So we have to start slow. We have to start with baby steps and it has to be fun and enjoyable. So that's why my program is so successful is because it's a slow, gradual progression of core strengthening for the postpartum mom. And it's so easy that moms want to keep coming back to it day after day after day. And then they build amazing fitness habits. So that's postpartum ab rehab. If you want to learn more about it, you can go to livecorestrong.com slash program. But once you're cleared from your doctor, though you don't have to jump right into intense workouts, like I said, I want you to start small, start slow, and just be kind to yourself. Just take it easy. There's no pressure to get back to all these high intensity hit workouts. There's no pressure to, you know, sign up for a marathon, you know, in three weeks. No, we are, we are not sprinting in this game of postpartum fitness. In those early weeks, it's actually recommended to just focus on gentle, low impact exercises. And that's why I love to start with the core. So walking is also an amazing way to ease back into movement. I have Um, this amazing movement macro method that I taught in my workshop earlier in September that gives you five exercises that you can do to just enhance movement in a comfortable, safe way. And just a little hint for you, if you attend Deal Week with me, you will see what I'm talking about because I reveal that to you in one of my deals, my five-step macro movement method that only takes two minutes a day, super easy, really really effective and really fun. Okay. Let me just say that my exercises are super fun and easy to do, and you can incorporate your baby with the exercises too. All right. So let's talk about your core though. After a C-section, your core needs gentle, gentle care. You should not be doing sit-ups. You should not be doing planks. Just get that off your mind right now. (laughs) So one of the simplest and most effective things you can do to incorporate uh, core strengthening and just engaging the core for the first time is deep breathing. Deep breathing exercises are wonderful for postpartum moms, C-section or not. 
But for a C-section mom, it's going to help ease your pain. It's going to help engage the core in a very gentle, simple way. And I talk about deep breathing exercises in past episodes, but I absolutely love to do the box breathing method. So definitely try that out. It is a simple way to engage your core with some deep breathing and a four count method for each side of the box. So you're breathing in for four counts, you're holding for four counts, you're breathing out for four counts, and you're holding for four counts. Really great way to do some breathing exercises, but also engage the core. So it's a light exercise. You cannot injure yourself with it, right? We all have to breathe. So we might as well do it the right way, do the diaphragmatic breathing and engage the core muscles the safe way. So as you move forward, it's just natural for moms to want to dive into intense exercises that you loved from the past, from college, from you know high school when you were maybe on the track team and you're doing all these really fun, high intensity workouts. But you got to stop thinking about those exercises right now. This might be a long game to get you back into doing those high intensity exercises from your college years. But there is a time and a place when that will come. And I always say start with my program first. And by the time you're done with my program, you will be able to get back into those high intensity workouts, doing the planks, doing the sit-ups, doing the burpees. You will be able to do all that at the time of 10 weeks once you're done with my program. It's, It's a fabulous thing. So right now, I don't want you thinking about those exercises, okay? So It's really keeping it simple and getting your doctor's approval and just focusing on the core cardio and breathing. So some tips for choosing safe exercises. If you're wondering what exercises are safe, just think of this period as a foundational period, okay? This is the foundational period of just getting started post C-section. So you can also start with your pelvic floor exercises, which you can do lying down. I recommend starting lying down with these. Um, These are subtle, but powerful in helping you recover the deep inner core muscles in your pelvic floor. So a great exercise for this is pelvic tilting. You can do some knee to chest. There's also, you can tuck in your belly button. A lot of great pelvic floor exercises to get you started as a C-section mom. As you get stronger, you can gradually incorporate more movement, but pay close attention to how your body responds to these exercises. Pay attention to how you feel. If you're having any pain, track your pain on a calendar on a scale of zero to 10. You need to pay attention to your body, okay? So I don't want you to feel any pain, any pulling sensations, any bulging along your incision line. You need to look for anything that seems out of the ordinary, any kind of pain you call your doctor. Healing is crucial here, okay? That's why we wait six weeks. We want your body to heal. So never start early and start very slow. Again, this is a mindset shift that we have to have. If you're an athlete in the past, you have to still start slow and let your body heal. You might start recovering a lot faster than some of your other friends who have C-sections, but really take it one step at a time and evaluate your body every day so that you're not pushing yourself too hard because you could wake up the next day really, really sore and regret everything that you did and then take a one to two week break from your fitness journey and then it's like, what progress are you making, right? You just wanna start slow and just continually show up day after day after day with small incremental gains. All right, so the key here, taking it slow, giving yourself grace. Remember that your body just did something absolutely amazing, right? You just gave birth to your baby and you went through an intense surgery. So with the right approach, you can get your strength back. If you follow my guidelines in this episode, you can get your strength back and do it in a safe way and feel confident and feel amazing when you're done working out. So I'm just gonna remind you one more time to mark your calendars for November 25th through 29th. We are starting our Black Friday deal week huge savings. It's our biggest sale of the year. I don't want you to miss it. So definitely come back all week long next week and to find out what deals we're giving away on each day. Okay. So it's a super fun time to stay motivated in your fitness journey and to save at the same time. It's a great time of the year, right? All right. And remember to always live core strong. 
Hey mama, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, would you take 30 seconds and leave a five-star review on Apple Podcasts? It would bring me so much joy. Simply scroll down to the stars and click write a review. Your review will help more women discover our podcast. Let's grow this fit mom movement together. And if you want your friends to come alongside you on this postpartum fitness journey, invite them to our free Facebook group where you can get motivated together. Community is key to success. And that's what I want for you. So join ours by going to the link in the show notes. And before you know it, the baby weight will be falling off as quickly as those stinky diapers. I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Fit Postpartum Mom Podcast.